Hi everyone, welcome back to the part two of this uh, interview question series. And uh, I have uh, posted in part one as well. And I got a very good response for that. Make sure you watch this video till the very end because it will be very helpful for you if you are struggling with the interview. Please note down all the questions and uh, uh, like practice them and find the answer for them. And I am sure that you will clear any interview in future. So I have a video recording as well, so which I got from the candidate. So if you want to verify any of any of the question, you can contact me. Uh, link in the description below. So uh, we must go through the questions one by one. The first question we have is: I want to store values as a key and value pair, and insertion order should be maintained. So which data type you will suggest? So like if you talk about key and value uh, key and value pair the first things come into the mind is map now which uh, implementation of map there are multiple hash map concurrent hash map i mean concurrent hash map is also store key and value then hash table we have hash table legacy class then uh, linked hash map then tree map there are multiple uh, implementation so which one i should choose while maintaining the insertion order okay so if i talk about uh, insertion maintaining the insertion order linked hash map is one which maintains the insertion order okay it is uh, like maintains the insertion order if i talk about tree map like tree map uh, tree map automatically sort automatically sort the elements so it maintains the sorted order not the insertion order but if I talk about uh, uh, linked hash map, I will write it here. The answer linked hash map. If I talk about linked hash map, it maintains the insertion order. So that is the correct answer for this question. Now let's talk about the next question, which is I will just uh, select it and I will just uh, make it red. So, okay. So what is the super class of exception hierarchy? So if you know about the exception hierarchy uh, exception class is there but there is one more super class which is about the uh, exception hierarchy which is throwable class throwable i will write it here so this is another very simple question and the level of this question is like uh, uh, easy i would say so exception if i talk about exception hierarchy throwable is the super class then comes in uh, like uh, after the throwable throwable there are some classes classes like error and exception okay and if i talk about exception exception has another subclasses error also having some subclasses like uh, uh, like uh, there are multiple errors, assertion errors and uh, class format errors. So those are subclasses of error class. And if I talk about exception, exception has two sub, I mean the main subclass is runtime exception. And there are multiple subclasses apart from runtime exception. I won't write them. I will just tell you like IO exception is there, clone node supported exception is there. Uh, uh, inside IO exception, you have more subclasses like file not found subclass, uh, file not found exception and arithmetic exception. These are multiple, multiple exceptions are available. And of course you can create your own uh, exception as well by extending the exception class or any, any exception class, which is extending the exception class. For example, you can create your custom exception by extending runtime exception or by extending IO exception or by extending arithmetic exception as well. So these are the thing about exception hierarchy okay so now i will move to the next question and the next question is something programming uh, like programming question and this this code is shared by the interviewer in the chat and he asked what is the what is the answer for this so let i will give you some time to think and if you know the answer for this you can comment down below then i will tell you the answer okay so if I talk about this question, in this question, we have a try block, we have a catch block and we have a finally block in each and every block. We have written a statement as well. Here we are returning 10 here, 20 and here 30. And there is some logic statements as well. So what will happen in this case, which written statement will get the priority. 
and which one will not uh, execute so if i talk about the answer directly uh, i would say the return statement of finally will execute so this is the uh, right answer for this but if i talk about in the, this detail so what will happen if you go about try block there are some logic behind there are some uh, like uh, uh, statements written over here so in in the first condition if you find any exception here then it will won't re, uh, like re still statement uh, return stand okay and it will directly go to the catch statement inside the catch statement it will write these and like before after that finally block will be executed so finally block will always get priority it will execute before returning anything so if if we are here and if we reach till statement return 20 it won't return 20 here it will go to the finally because it will go to the finally because it has to close some io connection and everything will be done for closing the connections or io connection so that's why uh, it will go to the finally and complete finally block will be executed and then it will return 20 but before returning 20 we we are returning 30 from here so it will return 30 from here and it won't reach till here then so always always the return statement of the finally block will get the priority in this scenario and in this type of question so make sure you know the concept that how you can answer this question and uh, in in the like next interview if someone asks this type of question you will be able to answer this so the next question is uh, something like this uh, i have sh like uh, taken the screenshot from the mail and paste it over here so in this uh, uh, like uh, piece of code we have a class in the inside that class we have a static method uh, and inside static method we are printing something then we have a class b as well which is extending a and inside that we have a, a, again static method now we are creating object of b and referring with uh, a reference okay so if i call b dot method one which which method will be executed so many of you will think that this is method overriding but no this is not a uh, sorry method yeah method overriding but no this is not method overriding because the methods are static and static method can't be overrided okay and in the case of uh, like uh, static method you can directly call them with the uh, with the class name itself but yeah we can also call them by object also so here this in uh, like uh, the method one of b class will be executed so in b will be printed here if i talk about the answer for this question so i hope you got the idea how you can answer these type of question and i will just move to the next question here okay so next question will be on java 8 okay so in this question we have to find employees who have salary less than 20,000 we have to increase by 2,000 write a program to do it in Java stream API okay so if I talk about stream API we have a list of employee whose salary and in that we need to find salaries less than 20,000 then we need to increase the salary by 2,000 okay so suppose i have a list okay list of employees then what i will do i will create list dot stream i will convert it into a stream and then i will filter out based on the salary okay i will filter out based on the salary of employee e dot get salary and salary should be greater than salary should be greater than 20, sorry less than 20,000 so this will filter the people who are having salary less than 20,000 then what I will do I will perform some operation on that and increase the salary by 2,000 so what I will do I will use map and inside the map I will pick salary uh, sorry yeah EMP because it's a stream of employees right now 
you can use any word but uh, employee and get salary you got the salary now you have to increase the salary by 20% uh, no sorry by 2000 okay so what you need to do you need to set salary you need to set salary and inside that you need to first get the salary and then add it at the 2000 in it so now it will set uh, update the salary for you update the salary for that employee okay after updating the salary uh, now uh, you need to, you can collect it into a list again so for that you need to do collect collectors dot to list okay so this is the way how you can do this and solve this problem first i filtered it and then i added the salary uh, like in the current salary okay so i hope you got an idea how you can answer this question now i will move to the next question which is write a program to get employee with the maximum salary using stream api so again i have a stream i have a stream okay and uh, i have there are few more questions so uh, i think the video is very long here so i will i will explain this in the next video uh, i have a time limit of uh, 10 15 minutes every day so i'm sorry uh, I, i'm i'm sorry for that uh, it's only my time only permit for 10 15 minute videos so i will post the next uh, uh, part uh, the part 3 for for the platinum members and for the for everyone as well later okay so make sure you uh, like uh, I, thank you for watching video till till the very end and uh, keep subscribe and keep liking my video thank you so much